Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Melvin H. Miles. Uh, George Miley and I have almost the same last name, and they get us confused, uh, Miley and Miles. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I got a PhD in physical chemistry, then I did a postdoc in Germany in electrochemistry. Uh, I have uh, 10 years of university teaching, plus 28 years as a research chemist at uh, Naval Air Warfare Center, China Lake, California. I'm retired from there, and I have funding from a private source through Dixie State College in St. George, Utah, which is my hometown. And uh, my, my goal is to develop an inexpensive calorimeter, and that's, that's what I brought, he, brought here. I, I'm going to talk about that this afternoon. It costs less than $50 to build this, but it's the most accurate one I've, I've, I've made. Uh, two copper cylinders, separated insulation is this pipe foam insulation. And, and down inside, you have the electrochemical cell and uh, completely isolated uh, inner copper tubing, isolated from the outer copper tubing. Put a lot of insulation on top, a lot of insulation on the bottom, so that the heat uh, transport has to be through conduction, through the copper, which is an excellent conductor, to the water bath. And I've been using this for about the past year and get very, very good results with it. And, and my, uh, so that's one thing I'll talk about this afternoon is this new calorimetry. Uh, and I've collaborated a lot with M Martin Fleischman on calorimetry in, in the past. And uh, then my second paper this afternoon will be on co-deposition. I'm trying to find an experiment that can be reproduced by anybody. And I, I've got a, a different recipe for the co-deposition experiment. And uh, so far, I've got the excess heat effect in six out of six times using the, uh, that co-deposition recipe. I'm trying to get other people to try the experiment and see if they can reproduce it in their labs. And I, I, I might add, I started working on this in 1989, when I was employed by the Naval Air Warfare Center in China Lake, I was there for 28 years, and I, I was, uh, when the DOE report came out, I was listed with Caltech and MIT as a group not getting excess heat, because that's what I had at that point. It took me six months before I could see this effect. It's a materials problem. You have to have the right material. If you don't have the right material, you're not going to see the effect. And, uh, and so that's the, the past background, as I was on the negative side because that, I didn't see anything at first, but I saw uh, the effect later. About 30% of my experiments show the effect. Co-deposition, now I'm getting 100% uh, reproduction of the excess heat effect. And uh, I, I guess that's all I, I'll need to say right now. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll, uh